Hey guys, Ben Plays here. Welcome to the Great Ace Attorney Adventures. This is my new Let's Play. This game just came out today, uh, the 27th of June, or July, sorry. And I have a guest with me who's going to be <clears> lending <throat> his voice to some of the characters. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, Stake Driven here, adventurer extraordinaire. He's got his own YouTube channel where he does Final Fantasy videos. You probably won't like it. Hmm. I'm kidding. If you like Final Fantasy, go check him out. Um, he does Final Fantasy XIV. Well, and also I do restaurant reviews and such, but, you know, pandemic. I didn't know you did restaurant reviews. Uh, anyway, are you oh, ready yeah, to get I, into the game? Yes, anyways. I'm ready. Let's so, do this. So, actually, thing. I had a failed recording before this, um, you guys, and so... My voice is going to be a little bit hurting, so... Hence why I asked him to come along and voice some characters for me. And he's also going to be playing the game, basically. <laughs> the Empire of Japan. After the Empire of Japan. Is this voiced? A push yep. for cultural transformation okay. brought great waves of Western influence to this far eastern island nation. Did you open my stream? Washed over the land, I did making not. life in the capital exciting and unsettling. It was a period of great change, and some were swept away by the tide. But for one man, the turbulence of that era was just the beginning of an extraordinary story. <gasps> okay, get ready for even weirder eye twitching than that. Oh, Episode brother. 1, The Adventure of the Great Departure. Bienvenue à la Carnaval. <laughs> nice. Or is that Carnaval? Carnaval, I don't know. Wow, that is, that's like if Urianje did the... <laughs> yeah, that, that's Urianje level verbose right there. <laughs> November 22nd, 8.43 a.m. Supreme Court of Judicature, Defendant's Antechamber 5. <laughs> In other words, it's the defendant's lobby. <laughs> I still can't believe it. I still can't believe this is happening. I'm just going to give him an everyman voice. How can it be ju that just beyond the doors of this quiet little chamber is the highest court in Japan waiting to decide my fate? Do you want to give the bailiff a voice? Sure. What? Oh, oh no, this nothing. is me. This is me, actually. Oh, that's you. Oh, no, nothing. Save your glares, murderer. Sorry. Okay, so if there's no name, it's you. Yeah. My name is Ryunosuke Narahodo. I'm a second year student at the Imperial Yume University. Three days ago, I somehow found myself in the middle of a horrifying incident. And now here Go I am, awaiting my trial. <laughs> That's enough! That's enough! Actually, I think that? that is the bailiff. Whoops. <laughs> is it Edgeworth? No. Edgeworth, sadly, wasn't born I know, yet. I know. Whoa, this guy. He's not obliged to listen to such abuse, officer. And who are you? I'm this man's lawyer. I'll be defending him today. L lawyer? Yes, and until the judge has given his verdict on the case, no one has the right to treat him as a criminal. So you will hold your tongue. Oh man. T Technicalities. And look at you, you haven't even graduated yet! Lousy Western influences giving <laughs> defendants rights and stuff. <laughs> and yet, I still seem to know better than you how a court officer should behave. Do you want me to dock your paycheck? Right, Ryunosuke? <laughs> Actually, I don't think he has that power, but... <laughs> oh, yes, of course, sorry. He's not the prosecutor. What are you apologizing to me for? Oh, I... No, I suppose that wasn't my fault. Silence. 
But really, Kazuma, I never meant to drag you into this, I'm sorry. Ha 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 There you go again, apologizing. Don't apologize, it's a sign of weakness. Just like always, you're apologizing. Ah. Kazuma, huh? Yep, Kazuma. Though I must I get say, feeling... you've been all over the newspapers these past few days. What were you gonna say? Is he gonna make some bread? Is he going to make some bread? Yeah. Yume University professor murdered in cold blood by student. But obviously, you didn't actually do it, did you? I, I don't know what you meant by that, by the way, and if it's dirty, please don't. Oh, heavens no, it's kind of like Food Wars, but much more wholesome. It's called Yakitate Japan. It's like Naruto with bread. Oh, of course not. You have to believe me. I didn't do it. I... I could never murder someone. Then there's nothing to worry about. Straighten yourself up. Hold your head high. You mean... I believe you. I know you're innocent, Rienosuke. Hey, can someone close that window? It's we're windy in here! Kazuma Asogi, my best friend. Also in his second year at Yumei University. But he's far more clever than I. A star, a star student, in fact. He's even a qualified lawyer. Impressive, considering he's still an undergraduate. It's not that impressive. The very concept of lawyers is only a few years old. Here in Japan, anyway. My qualifications don't mean much yet. You said exactly the same thing three days ago. But I'm proud to have a friend like you, Kazuma. Truly. Three days ago. Yes, that's when all this started. Congratulations, Kazuma. It looks like you're going to get to study abroad at last. I should have had you doing Kazuma, because there's going to be a lot of back and forth between him, hmm. him and Rin and Asuke, but... Looks you like you're going to get no to study abroad at last. No I know. I've been forever dreaming of this day. Finally, those government elites have not acknowledged my academic achievements and successes in court. So you'll be representing Japan as you immerse yourself in the most sophisticated legal system in the world. I'm really happy for you, and proud as your friend. There's not a soul in the university who doesn't know Kazuma's name. He's a living legend. It's like there's some mysterious aura billowing around his temple. I don't get that joke. I want to bring hmm. about a change in our own legal system. That's why I have to cross the ocean to see the real thing with my own eyes. The heart of the British Empire. I wish I could see it too. Then come with me. We'd have a wild time tearing up the streets of Her Majesty's City of London together. Oh god, I hope Japanese this doesn't turn into a Mia Fey concerned. situation. Same. <laughs> if He's only it were that guy. simple. Oh dear, look at the time. I'd better be going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a while longer. Because I know the game takes place in between Japan and, um, and Britain, and it doesn't look like it's Rinosuke that gets to go on that trip, so I'm hoping nothing bad happens to Kazuma. Yeah, same. I mean, also, the guy's name is Naruto, and that's Phoenix's name in Japan, Japan right? Also, comments, no spoilers, loves. Alright. Good idea. After yeah, all, it's not every day you. you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. Not that you'll have a chance to spoil this, since it's too new, but, you know. Hmm. See you in English class tomorrow, then, partner. But if you happen to be, like, binge-playing this and end up getting further than I do, um, please keep it only to gameplay tr tips and tricks. But, I, you know what? I've played every Ace Attorney game so far, and I've already played the first hour and a half of this one, so... Asogi, uh, may I... Oh yeah, you can do this. This is a professor, by the way, so make of that what oh. you will. <clears throat> ah. <clears throat> Wait, professor, you say? Yes. Asogi... <clears throat> Asogi, may I have a word? Um. Doesn't look very German, but you're stuck with that voice now. <laughs> okay, I I'm committed to it. Professor, I didn't know you were coming. Ah, well, this case has personal significance to me. <laughs> but never mind that for now, Asugi. 
You should go immediately to the judge's chambers. To His Excellency's chambers? Why? He was looking for you before. You advocating for the defense in this trial was a sudden decision. It seems there may have been some confusion about procedures today as a result. <laughs> you see, they wanted to behead you immediately. <laughs> Who is this man? I feel as though I've seen him at university before. I see. I'll go at once then. I shall accompany you. Alright then, Rienasuke. I'll see you in the courtroom. Yes, thanks, Kazuma. I'm Maya. Yeah, I think that's our version of Maya, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. I could be wrong, but she I've seen her face plastered everywhere in promo art for this game. Ah. Ugh, this is awkward. If I may. Yes, sorry? <laughs> You must be the defendant, Ryonosuke Narahudo, I believe. Yes, yes, that's right. How are Japanese? Your name is Yujin I am a professor of forensic medicine at Yume University. Let me have a shot at that name. Yujin Mikotoba. Yeah. Mikotoba. It's just really hard with the accent, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Professor Mikotoba. I've heard that name from Kazuma before. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Kazuma studying abroad. Hasog has told me about you. You and he are best friends, I understand. As such, I feel you should know. Know what? I don't know what to do with that, um, part where it, like, bleeps, and where it, like, um, makes that bleeps. sound, and it's just a, it's just a, um, exclamation mark. Vroom. I don't know if I should um, make, like, <clears throat> a surprised voice, like a oof, or something. Hmm. Well, as you have no doubt heard, Asugi has been granted permission to go and study in Great Britain. However, if he should fail to defend you in today's trial, I'm afraid that permission will be revoked, and never granted again. What? Ah, uh, as I suspected, you were unaware of this. <laughs> I had a feeling Asogi may have chosen not to tell you. Is it raining really hard? Please tell me it's not raining really hard. I can't afford to lose power again. Rain? You better back down! He's agreed to defend me, knowing that if he fails, his dreams will be shattered? But I don't understand, why would the government do such a thing? Because they're dicks! <laughs> the administration has, cho has to choose from a large number of applicants for overseas study. It's very difficult to persuade them to grant permission, even in the most favorable of circumstances. I don't believe it. Da, 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 da. But it's I... A I didn't do it, I swear it. I'm not a murderer. Mm. I'm sure that's true. Nevertheless. I can assure you that proving your innocence will be no easy task. You see, there are certain... peculiarities about today's trial. Oh, sorry? What do you mean? You'll soon understand once proceedings get underway. Oh boy. But then what should I do? Well? Naturally, I'm not going to suggest doing any things that could lead to a conviction. Right, so... <clears throat> as soon as the trial starts, the judge will pose a certain question to the defense. When that happens, you must answer before anyone else. You must say I do. Oh God, wait, you're getting wait, married. we're getting married to the judge? What? <laughs> I do. But what will the question be? 
Surely not. Do you accept the accusations brought before you? <sighs> of course not. Defend it! <laughs> uh, uh, court is about to begin. Uh, proceed to the courtroom at once. <laughs> ah, it would seem our superstitious discussions are to be cut short. <laughs> so allow me to summarize. Kazuma Asogi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Of course, as the defendant, the final decision is yours. What are you waiting for? Do you want to be found guilty for failing to appear? Get moving! Uh, there's no point in advocating what No one likes you anyway! <laughs> for the likes... There's no point in ad no anyone point. advocating for the likes of you anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know why I suddenly gave him my frantic, my frantic warrior of light voice. This is it. If the trial goes badly, Kazuma's dreams of studying abroad are over. And what more? What's more, I'll be found guilty of murder. Murder most foul. And so... With abs- oh wait. Oh, this is from Reunus. <laughs> it's funny. I thought yeah. it was like an, with absolutely no idea of what lay ahead. I embarked on that forgettable trial. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, who? Oh, okay. It's still you. My one and only chance of proving my innocence, the trial that would decide my destiny. Oh, uh, someone pinged me on another server, and I was wondering who. It was the uh. server in general. Server Pingus Scam Nation has a nice video up, one of my favorite YouTube. 22nd ah. November, 9 a.m., Supreme Court of Judicature, Courtroom 2. Oh, what is with those eyes? Uh, what? what the hell? Yeah. It's so wrong this with your eyes. Is a courtroom. Hey, can someone close the window? The Supreme Court. The Supreme Court of Judicature. No court in the land has <clears throat> more power. I don't much like the look of those people sitting in the public gallery. Lots of military and other uniforms in there. The powers that be have demanded that this be a secret trial. A secret trial? A trial that's closed to ordinary members of the public. Only military and government officials may attend. What? But why? It'll become clear in time. Not in the first 90 minutes, it doesn't. But for now... You need to concentrate, Rinosuke. It's about to begin. Also, the first 90 minutes might turn out to be like two hours at the rate we're reading this. What the heck? Genghis Khan? <laughs> He's all yours. The all judge right. is all yours. <laughs> The court will now hear the trial of Ryunosuke Narodo. I love it. The prosecution is ready, Your Excellency! Nope. Nope, that's not working. Dear God. <laughs> well, As we can alternate defense. and give him... Hmm. Before we begin, there's one point of order I'd like to confirm, Pilgrim. Yesterday evening, the defense made a last-minute request for a change of advocate. That's correct, Your Excellency. I made the request myself. Normal procedure is for the defendant's advocacy to be decided two days prior to the trial. As this is unusual circumstances, I am obliged to ask for final confirmation now. Okay, let's see. Who advocates for the defendant in this trial? Oh, is that the question? Yep, that's the question to what I say I do. This is it, this must be the question. Who's going to defend me? That's the question the professor meant. The question is, do I have courage enough to say it? But then, if I say I do, 
I need to answer quickly. What should I do? This would never fly in America. I'm waiting for your choice now that we're, oh. we're getting um, to the actual gameplay. Wait, I want and you to... wait and wait and sorry. Wait and see. Sorry. Wait and see. Yeah. All right. If you're sure. That would be my guess, because I, I, I'm, I'm guessing the top answer is an instant game over. That would be my guess. Kazuma is the lawyer here. I can't defend myself. If I said I do, it would be a tantamount to lying. And I've been accused of murder, for goodness sake. This is no time for lies. Wow, defend it with common sense. Try to stop fidgeting, Rinasuke. It's distracting. So actually, that was the wrong choice. You are supposed to say "I do," but I oh. want to see this. I want to see this text, and I don't think you get penalized for it. Oh, that's good. But if I don't say I'll defend tutorial. myself now, things could end very badly for my friend. Your Excellency, no confirmation is needed. As I'm standing here beside the defendant, I hope it's clear who will advocate yes! for his defense. Yes, this is delicious. <laughs> What is the meaning of this unruly outburst? I I would like to inform the court that that I Rinosuke Norahoto will be defending myself. You'll be what? What are you playing at, Rinosuke? What the bloody devil are you playing at? <laughs> Professor Mikotoba told me everything just now before the trial. He did what? He said that your dreams of studying abroad would be dashed if you were to lose. How sad. It means you don't have faith in me. You think I won't be able to get you off. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> Phrasing game. Phrasing. Uh, no, it's not that, really. It's just that... Well, on the off chance that things don't go well for me, I couldn't bear to be the reason that you... I'm sorry, Is I'm still fair? thinking about getting off. Oh. <laughs> Mood. Yes. <laughs> that line was funny and it distracted me. Um, I knew that's how you'd feel, which is exactly why I decided not to tell you. <laughs> Professor Mikotoba shouldn't have stuck his nose in. I can't really do the... TSK sound, so I, I just always do. Huh. <laughs> Makes sense. Very well, Pilgrim. A court hereby recognizes the defendant's desire to advocate for himself in today's trial. Well, well. Does the accused admit defeat already? Renouncing his own counsel? Really? Objection! <laughs> I think I'll keep my own counsel on that. Make no mistake, counsel. This merely shows that the defendant's innocence is so apparent, he's confident he can speak for himself. Isn't that so, Naruhodo-san? Hmm? Oh! Wait, if he's older, yes, shouldn't exactly. he be kun? Yeah, whatever. If he's older, shouldn't he be what? Kun. Exactly what I wasn't thinking, I'm not confident at all. I'm not sure what age, uh, Rinosuke <laughs> is. Okay, this, no, I mean, like, this sprite's way is... better than his shifty-eyed sprite. Yes, most definitely. This should be his nervous sprite. Yes. Yes. In fact, my mind's a complete blank. I realize you're in charge now, but still, try not to look so bewildered. Hmm. Well, for a mere university student to be brought before the Supreme Court... You must have perpetrated the most heinous crime indeed. Okay, I assume the Supreme Court means something else in Japan, because usually the Supreme Court in America decides on whether to keep or, like, they decide whether laws are unjust, usually, right? Isn't that usually their job? As you are no doubt aware, this is the Supreme Court of Judicature in Japan, Pilgrim. Accordingly, the very highest standards of conduct are expected of all present. And we can cut you down with a katana whenever we want. Do I make myself clear, Defendant Narahodo? Yes, crystal clear, Your Excellency. It is therefore my duty to assess your competence for the task you've undertaken. My competence? What does that mean? Oh, you dumb 
shit. <laughs> it's a type. It's a type of bonus you get in D and D. He's questioning your ability to do the job. Don't let him do that. Well, he can't be questioning it more than I am. You'd be surprised. Uh, <laughs> so, let's start with the very simplest of questions. What is my role? Oh, what uh, room yes. are we in? Okay, here we go. The test from the first game. Totally. Kindly state before the court the name of the victim in this case. Well, that's easy enough. I've heard his name more times than I'd care to remember. But, wait. Uh, I'm so nervous I can't even remember that. What was it again? Oh, if only there was Cinder some kind Block? of record. Ryunisuke. Let me guess. Your mind's gone blank. Erm, um, you know me so well. <laughs> All the relevant information for this case can be found in the court record. But, but I can't even find that. Right? It's simple. You can access the court record with the press of E. If you ever find you've forgotten something, just consult that. It's all in there. I just have to press E for the court record? Alright, there's no time to lose. I would admit it's C. This is the list of evidence you've collected. Nah, I like E. It reminds me of Minecraft. Now try switching to people hmm. instead with E. It, 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 re it really feels natural for Minecraft players, I think. You'll find details about the victim in here. So his name is John H. Wilson, and he was Wilson. the victim of this case. He was a visiting professor of medicine at Yume University from the British Empire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So remember, everything to do with the current case can be found in the court record. Yeah, I think he's supposed Wait, to be Watson. They well, did I don't they know. kill off Watson? I don't Go know. Ahead. No, you'd better not keep his excellent his excellency waiting any longer. Go on. Find the victim in the people section of the court record, then press R to present. Try it now. Yes. The victim's name was Dr. John H. Wilson. Oh wait, I whoops. <laughs> well, at least you can remember the name of an esteemed member of your own university. Dr. Wilson was a visiting professor from England, invited to Yume University three years ago. Indeed, which is the reason why this case has such profound implications. The British Empire. It's at present our country's most valuable foreign ally. And as most of you will be aware, we have just signed a new treaty together, after lengthy negotiations. There can't be anyone who hasn't heard of the Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation. History lesson. And yet, despite these delicate circumstances, the blood of an Englishman has been spilt on our soil. You two are both undergraduates at the Imperial U Yume University, are you not? Murdering a professor from the very institution that provides your education. Have you no honor? Ugh. But I didn't do it. <clears throat> this case is coming under great scrutiny from our allies on the other side of the world. The court therefore wishes for a speedy resolution to this matter. Hmph. <laughs> In other words, our feeble government is scared of upsetting England's policymakers. And you're a convenient and expendable scapegoat to blame for this crime. So that's why this trial has these unusual peculiarities, is it? Exactly. Our government needs to convict someone as quickly as possible. All because the victim was an Englishman. Yes, Dr. Wilson was an Englishman. He's an Englishman! But nationalities and treaties won't make any difference for me here. <clears throat> the fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. Oh dear, look at the time. I'd better be going.
Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a little longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. We've seen part of this already. Yeah. See you in English class tomorrow then, partner. I just figured out who he reminds me of. Sanada Yukimura from Sam Samurai Warriors. Huh. The British Empire. Wow, it's incredible to think... Think what? Wait. I've seen that man at university. I'm sure he's a visiting professor from Great Britain. I don't know his name, but still. I should go and say hello. Yeah, if you want to learn English, best way to... So we went over to the professor's table. And introduced myself to Dr. Wilson. Now then, let me pose my next question to you, Defendant Naruto. I can't believe it's five minutes in between the two questions. Seriously? <laughs> yes, Your Excellency. Yeah. How did this professor of medicine, Dr. John H. Wilson, lose his life? That's my question to you. Uh, I guess we have to look at the... I'm guessing that that envelope-looking thingamabob Jigamaru is probably the autopsy report? Yep, post-mortem yep. report. Jump through the heart. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I meant to examine it further. Ah. There we go. Tell me when to move on I'm to the next page. Yeah. Right. Single bullet fired across close range. Fatal hemorrhage from a pectoral ballistic trauma. And just say shot through the heart. No exit wound. Shot through the bullet heart. Did not pass through the and you're to blame. You're to blame. <laughs> you give love a bad, a bad name. name. <laughs> yeah. No exit wound. Right. Bullet did not pass through the body. Okay. So they can get the ballistic markings, which I don't think those have been invented yet. Or have they? <laughs> I don't know. So, how did he die? You mean discovered. It wasn't invented. Like, the... As long yeah, as history right. has had guns, ballistic markings have been a thing, but the question is, how uh, how long has it been known about? Well, I know it gets done at least once in The Great Mouse Detective, but that's a Disney flick. Stay before the court, the cause of death. Cause of death? Well, obviously that was, um... Ryunosuke, I'm losing my patience with you already. Remember that in court, every assertion must be backed up by evidence. By evidence? What's that? <laughs> Find the piece of evidence that shows the professor's cause of death and select present. Do it now. Well, that'd be the... that'd be the... autopsy report. Yep. Yes! Um, well... <laughs> okay, I saw this sprite in the trailer, and I thought it was really, ah, really weird. According to this document, the victim suffered a hemorrhagic death due to a gunshot trauma. Learn to read, you imbecile! That's the post-mortem report, I take it. Sorry, yes, that's right. The, um, post-mortem report, whatever that is. Why is it written in English? <laughs> in the West, a doctor does sex dissects corpses. Actually, if you take a look at it, it shows that it's in Japanese, if you take a close look, but for some reason, they just, right. they translated the thing. He's having difficulty with an English word, which you wouldn't have if you were reading in Japanese anyways. Yeah. In the West, a doctor dissects corpses to identify the cause of death in an autopsy. But here in Japan, a police officer merely inspects the body and draws conclusions that way. Oh, I see. As long as I'm not going to be tested on any of this later. This is a so-called photographic print of the scene of the crime. Magic! You can clearly discern scorch marks around the bullet hole produced by the powder explosion. What sort These new this? photograph things are very useful. In other words, we should assume that the victim was shot at close range. Oh no, he didn't get to finish his steak! Thank you, Council. The court will accept this modern scientific evidence into the record. <laughs> 
photograph. He died hungry. Look at, look at this photograph! I don't think they actually say that. So that's a photographic print. Well, that's something I've never seen before. It's clearly superior to a drawing. The detail is incredible. <laughs> Very well, I am satisfied with your answers. You know what's not satisfying? The not fact that we to have to continue this dinner. in the next episode. Ah, cliffhanger! Yep. <laughs> so in the next episode, we will start the trial. We'll see you guys then.